Hi guys, how you doing? Today I'm going to show you a Windows 10 review. Uh, so the first thing you need to know is that Windows 10 has been redesigned completely. Uh, the way that they've done it is that they've actually uh, incorporated the mess that they did. I mean, that was the first target that they did. They they did with Windows 10 is they they wanted to fix the mess that they did with Windows 8. Because uh, Windows 8 used to have a very full screen, you couldn't do anything with it, you could, uh, everything was like all over the place. So now you click on Start Menu, for example, and it's the Start Menu is over here on the bottom left corner again, uh, you know, like Windows 7 and before. And there is no more on the right hand side where you, you go in there to actually press the button, so which is, was, was annoying for, for a lot of users. Uh, the start the start menu is, is the first thing they they did is to remodify it as well. They redesigned it completely. Actually, you can now customize it a little bit more. You can pretty much oh yeah here. So you can see I've, I've already moved in applications on here. That's so what I do. It's like here. It's, it's very cool. You click on all apps, for example. You pick up an application. You put it down in here. Uh, you don't want it. You can just move it. Get rid of it there. Uh, you know, do whatever you want to do with it. Yeah, <laughs> it's very simple. And, and unpin it of course there you go unpinned done so it's very simple um the navigation of windows 8 it was was a pain so now you got the navigation because navigation windows 8 was actually very full screen so now you have windows windows 10 has improved on that aspect massively uh, not to mention of course now you have the snapping option so if i were to go into here this is like the apps here uh let's just pick another application here we just go open up internet explorer Okay, and just go to home, for example. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go Bing. Yeah. So now we got, let's say, snap. Here we go. Snap is over there. Snap over here. Snap is over here in the corner. You can snap here. It's from that corner. And you can actually, now you can do, open up another one. Let's uh, open up this one. And let's to go into here and snap it. Yeah, snapped. See? Snap and snap, snap. <laughs> well, it's very cool, very nice, easy way of doing things. But there is like way, way, too, way, very, very lot, lot, you know, it's simpler to snap things now. Uh, and it's something like a small feature into updating uh, Windows 10. Plus, I mean, the speed of it was Windows 10. It's very cool, actually. Um, uh, the other important thing of Windows 10, of course, the, it's not just the snap, it's also the, the Cortana. Okay, so what is Cortana? Cortana is actually very easy to use. You can actually come down here. They've incorporated like a start menu uh, uh, help, which is like, you know, here's the weather immediately there. It picks it up. Here's the information on news. I can type in whatever I want here. It's, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, type my name. Uh, there we go. A lot of different things come up. I can go back and just type in whatever I want. But also, the Cortana has actually come up with like, you know, you can Something went well. wrong. Yeah. Try um, again in a little. I haven't said anything, Cortana. Uh, so you can actually say something in there and just, uh, you know, talk to it. Uh, hi, Cortana. I'm not sure if it's working. There you go. So you can say, hey, Cortana, in there and just, like, go in here and enable the hey, Cortana. There we go. Yeah, so there you go. Settings. Yeah. So, uh, turning Cortana off, clears up, blah, 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 blah. So, Cortana has done it. actually took me time to, to re redo this because I had to actually teach it my, name, my voice a little bit. And plus, I had to enable the fact that I'm not 13 year old because it doesn't actually in, uh, say uh, it doesn't allow uh, young age people to actually use it because 13, less than 13 year olds shouldn't be using the internet, according to Microsoft. So that's why you know, Cortana has uh, been a little, little bit. Le uh, <laughs> left on that if you want to think of cortana what it is uh and how how you use it think about you know if you have an iphone or, or if you have a uh i don't know google voice then you think that the microsoft cortana is just like that um i asked it what it, i mean the first question is what is cortana uh, uh to me and it says that it's uh something where you go what is cortana there you go Oh, uh, that's not. I said Cortana, didn't I? Cortana. Okay, Cortana, intelligent. Da, 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 da. I think you need to know about that and all that. So, oh, didn't say anything. That's not the way I I picked it, picked it, picked it up. All right. The other thing, of course, that they uh, they've done with uh, Microsoft Windows 10 is that 
Internet Explorer. Okay, so the Internet Explorer is is really cool. Uh, you, you know, you can actually do whatever you want with it. You can click on it here. It's much much faster than the Internet Explorer. It's the Microsoft Edge. Uh, in, and what they've done is they've actually literally gone back to the drawing board to actually do this. Yeah, they've done done quite a bit of work on this. So I can type in here C and N. Go, let's go C and N. Of course, there, there is still limitations on the, this, this edge. I'm um, having problem with, of course, downloading and uploading. Uh, that's the, I'm not sure if this is a Windows issue or an Edge issue. I'm not sure with that. It's just too slow, and sometimes it's just uh, you know not every not all the features are there. Uh, I'm not sure if that is the way that they intended it, uh, but it could be that they just are you know at the beginning of stage at the beginning. Uh, okay, so let's say that there is a page that you will come up and you don't know what to do with it. It's not working in the Edge. They've actually added a feature here where it's click on it and open it with Internet Explorer, in case you want to open up with Internet Explorer. All right. So the next uh, next thing is, uh, of course, uh, the surprise. Uh, there is, of course, the what you call it, the Xbox app. So here it is. Okay. So the Xbox app is very cool. You can come in here to the Xbox app and you can type in whatever you want. You can uh, go into your Xbox and manage it. You can also like go, go in there and do a uh, screen uh, screen stream and you know just uh, see what your uh, screen of, of Xbox app right now it looks like you can also control it and play with it. it is you can control it and play with it you know put a, hook up a controller and you can play in from here your Xbox one uh, from the Xbox app the other thing with the Xbox app you can you can do which is a surprise I think for most people let me just click bring it back that's not it let's click here there you go hey I mean that one was a smart glass so Smart Glass actually shows me exactly what's on inside the Xbox app right now. And those using the Xbox One must not, might have might have that might know. All right, so the feature that most people you know probably don't know or probably have used it before is holding the Microsoft button and pressing the G. Now what you got to do is like you got you get an option to record, so I start recording, and it's now recording whatever that you have. You can actually record a game if you are doing a live stream, and you can or or you can actually do. So it's recorded it now. See, you go. It's recorded it now. It's just a it's just a feature, a small feature to record things. I'm gonna delete this. Okay, here we go. It's to, to, to record your application, record your games, record your uh, activities. It's very nice. It doesn't it's not limited to Microsoft uh, Xbox One. It could do pretty much you know a lot of different things on this. Um, I mean that was the new feature of Xbox uh, Xbox Screen App recording. Uh, other thing, of course, is that there there is the, uh, the, the 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 let me see here this. Okay, let me bring let me bring something in front of you so you guys can see. So let me go open up here this one, right? So you got the uh, this the the start main, the start task manager or whatever. It's actually very cool. What they've done is they've actually added it. You know, it looks like looks like this. So let me just open up another window so I can show you what it, what it looks like. So here it is. It looks like this. So I can jump jump it here and jump it here. But also the, the the most important thing is that you can actually do. Is, uh, let's click kill this. There you go. So what the most important thing you can do is you can create even a new virtual desktop. Okay, new virtual desktop actually it just means that uh, uh, you can actually have a brand new desktop completely uh, empty from the other tasks, and you can jump in between between the other desktops going here. It's pretty cool. So I can open up this one here and I have it here, Hushum.com. Snap it in there, snap it in there, and now go into uh yeah, let's go into here and open up another you go into the desktop number two and open up edge and this one and type in whatever I want. But type in hushum.com as well. See how it looks like at edge. So now I've got two window, two desktops, one desktop here. And one desktop there, 
and if I want, I want this desktop, I can just kill it and go back to this desktop. It should be fine. And of course, it brought brought down all my application from the second desktop to this one. Very cool, actually, very very cool because uh, uh, usually virtual desktops you need a, a, another uh, another Windows, uh, no, sorry, another third party applications for Windows, which is something that uh, is not available in uh, most app, most OSs. This one is is yeah, it's, got, it's got it in there. Um, the next feature, of course, there is the store Microsoft Store. Okay, let's click here. Okay, so the Microsoft Store has been a little bit upgraded, a little bit, little bit more changed. What they've done is they've add, added more app, uh, more view into the application, the games. Uh, they've done uh, the music, films, and TV. It's very nice, very cool. They've done all that. However, it does lack a little bit of a, of, of high quality content. Not a lot of games, a lot of not a lot of applications, not a lot of TV shows and all that, uh, and and not even the music. So it does require a lot of updates. And I think this is just the beginning of a beautiful friendship with the with Microsoft uh, Store. Um, might just be coming up in here. Okay, so Windows 10 did actually give me a lot of problems at the beginning when I started it. So and and it probably is does it does continue to give me problems right now because uh, uh that download issues is is a bit of an issue for me because I upload a lot of stuff to the internet and even like the upload and download is just taking too long even though I've got very fast internet and this is actually not the problem of uh, uh I don't think it's a problem with the internet it's the problem of the of the way that the protocol has been set up so this is a bit of a nagging issue at the moment for me uh the other thing is is that you know it did come up with problems with like blue screen at the beginning so i had to fix it uh, with using the memory dumps and all sort of different things you know drivers and all sort of uh this is something that you might have to consider before you want to try to upgrade but uh you know will you really willing to uh, give up a couple of days of your time in case that it goes wrong um so that if that's the case then yeah go ahead and upgrade but otherwise you know you might want to consider upgrading until you wait wait it out until all the nagging issues have been sorted out um it's not as easy as step one two three it is something that is uh, w working on they're working on right now let me just show you my camera okay so here i am can you see me oh you can't see me it's not very good lighting i'm going to switch it off okay Okay, cool. I think I switched it off. There you go. So, if you want, if you are willing to wait it out until all the nagging issues have been sorted out, like maybe a bug fix or something like that, then you might want to consider, uh, you know, a couple, couple, couple more <laughs> weeks or months. Who knows how long they will take to fix it. However, the feature, of course, that the Microsoft has done is like you can actually click here and you come up with like. Oh, I like this. I have an idea. I like. I like. I like. Uh, I like this. Uh, I dislike this. Uh, I have an idea, and you provide feedback. Now, this is actually a little bit more uh, social operating system, which is something that um, is really cool. Because I've seen social networking has actually improved a lot of applications in the past, uh, such as uh, you know, if you think about uh, GPS like program like uh, Waze. Um, it, it, it has actually made made a lot more different to how the GPS networking works with uh, social networking. With if you think about other applications that has made social net, uh, had has improved upon social networking, is it, it becomes it becomes something uh, simple to say that Microsoft has actually gone to the right level of how things should go. So I th I'll leave you. I'll leave you guys alone. You can have a fun with this with, with this app. Uh, how it is? Enjoy, enjoy Windows 10 if you are going to use it. Uh, I know I am right now. I am enjoying actually Windows 10. It's, it's, it seems to be stable right now for me. It has been stable ever since I fixed the problem, the negative problem that uh, was for me. However, I still have a problem with, like I said, the download, the upload, the little bit of connection, connectivity problem with my like, like tiny Droid Box tool here for AirPlay. It's still not working right now correctly. The, this is the AirPlay part of it. It's not working properly with the, my Air server with my uh, Droid Box. Uh, there is the issues of the download and upload, which is not working properly either. However, apart from that, it is all working fine. I think I like it so far. Uh, anyway, guys, enjoy your uh, enjoy. I hope you like this review. See you guys later. Have fun.